No matter where we go, we are always fascinated by the technologies and systems that human beings use to survive and also to create meaning in their lives, to maintain their biological and cultural vitality. We have spent a lot of time in the northeastern American forest, and at Cartijada Los Gazquez, we have had the opportunity to think about these cultural, biological connections and an entirely new ecosystem. There is a heightened awareness of water here and an intense appreciation of the landscape, but there is also an undeniable necessity to be networked with global community. The flow of subterranean water and the abundant sunlight have sustained us during our visit, as have the international people and cultures that move through this seemingly isolated spot in southern Spain. As artists who work with new and emerging technologies, we have been interested in the solar and wind power that have made our residency possible, at the same time that we have paid close attention to the local plants, animal footprints, and limestone. Outside the artist's studio, an aljibe protrudes from the earth, which we have seen filled up with water trucked in from an abandoned well down the road. A reminder of the lack of precipitation in this arid climate. The landscape here is serene, devoid of human beings except for those of us at Los Gazquez and the occasional farmer or sheep herder, but it also offers clues to centuries of human interaction and history. The legacy of modernization is revealed in the uninhabited farmhouses on the hillside, some dilapidated beyond use, and some still serve as shelter for livestock. In the past week, we have hacked together and coded several small applications that produce static and moving images with our laptop webcams. The applications create algorithmic responses to the pale hues of the sun, the limestone, and the vegetation, including pine trees, lavender, wild rosemary, and Spanish broom. This generative art experiment is part of our larger exploration of the connections between environmental and media ecologies. Wild ecosystems can inspire mindfulness. They foster artistic creativity, and we have always been interested in how to infuse networked and built environments with the sense of awareness usually associated with tranquil nature. After our residency here, we leave for a road trip with Hoya to the city of Malaga, where we will perform our new mobile phone project, Indeterminate Hikes Plus, at the Center for Contemporary Art, from city to country and back to city again. you'll see points uh, of gray, uh, circles of gray. Those are called um, scenic vistas. And there it is, and these are all the uh, things we said, the images we took. So these are all available as you put in the DOM. And 
and then uh, everything is fun.